Is money a concern of yours? Thinking about applying for Social Security benefits or wondering when you may expect your next round of stimulus payments? Here you are, just where you should be. We hope that the great news we have to share today will let you relax and look forward with confidence. Stay tuned because we're going to fill you in on all the details on Social Security payments, possible $1,400 stimulus checks, and what Congress is working on to help you out during these tough times. Make sure you don't miss this. Greetings and salutations, and thank you for returning to Stimulus Updates, the channel where you can find the most recent information regarding stimulus programs. I am Ali, and I am here today to tell you about some fantastic news. Make sure you subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss an update on anything stimulus-related. We'll get into today's updates after you do that. Throughout these difficult times, we will do our best to keep you informed and give you the tools you need. Yes, I think it's time to dive in. The possibility of a new $1,400 stimulus check and some good news regarding Social Security benefit payments were both announced today. Those on low or fixed incomes, as well as those receiving Social Security, SSDIV, survivor's payments, or any combination of these programs will find this update particularly important. All the pertinent information is available here. Now, let's get down to brass tacks. Let's dissect it. The necessity of stimulus checks is decided in large part by the Federal Reserve. Their job is to determine the state of the economy and the appropriate amount of stimulus funding. The stimulus checks are used to pump the determined amount of money into the economy. The method is vital because when individuals get stimulus funds, they spend them on necessities like food, clothing, healthcare, and groceries, which helps to stimulate the economy. Businesses gain from the chain reaction. More so, the whole economy benefits from this uptick in consumer spending since it increases demand. Businesses must grow their workforce in response to surges in demand in order to meet the heightened production demands. The unemployment rate may fall as a result, which is still another advantage of stimulus payments. The moment has come to discuss when these stimulation checks will be conducted. Issuing checks at the wrong time can lead to needless inflation or fail to give the economy the boost it needs, so timing is critical. In order to determine when stimulus payments are most effective, the government keeps a careful eye on economic indicators such as inflation rates and employment figures. As an example, the government stepped in during a recession in 2010 to prevent more damage. If the present economic situation continues to deteriorate, similar actions may be implemented. These judgments are heavily influenced by important factors like the state of the job market and unemployment rates. Quantitative easing is one tool the Federal Reserve may use if the labor market demonstrates severe stress due to increasing unemployment and declining firms. Stabilizing the economy basically entails pouring massive sums of money into it. The complicated concept of quantitative easing refers. In short, to the practice wherein the government buys financial assets like government bonds from commercial banks and other financial institutions in order to boost the money supply. It becomes easier for companies and individuals to borrow and spend money when interest rates are lowered and credit is more readily available. The supply of stimulus checks is directly affected by the Federal Reserve's quantitative easing policies. To aid in the recovery and expansion of the economy, the government can reduce interest rates and increase the money supply to give direct financial aid to people and companies. When will the next round of stimulus payments be available? The state of the economy is a determining factor. Comparable reactions could be observed if the situation is comparable to early 2020. The final round saw numbers ranging from $12,000 to $20,000, but the precise amount and timing are still up in the air. It is quite probable that the next stimulus package will include individuals who receive fixed income benefits, such as Social Security, SSI, SSDIV, A and RRB beneficiaries. Let's take a brief look at the Social Security payment schedule for August 2023. August 1st, beginning with SSI recipients. Those who began collecting Social Security benefits prior to May 1997 ERD have until August 3rd, 2017. A person's birthday falls between the 1st and 10th of August. Dates of birth between August 11th and August 20th fall under this category. Birth dates from the 21st to the 31st DEI. Fall on August 23rd, ADRD. While we wait for the next batch of stimulus checks, it is critical that you maintain track of your Social Security payments. To avoid missing any payments, mark these dates in your calendar. Those in need have access to a variety of aid programs not limited to stimulus checks and Social Security benefits. Families and individuals who are having trouble making ends meet can apply for further assistance through programs such as food stamps, rental assistance, and home energy assistance because they help individuals in dire need right away. These programs are crucial. The expense of heating and cooling your house can be partially covered by house energy assistance, while eviction and homelessness can be prevented with rental assistance. 
please look into these programs and make use of the tools that are available to you if you are having financial difficulties. You may greatly improve your financial stability and general well-being with any amount of help. In this section, we will answer some frequently asked issues concerning stimulus checks and social security payments. The current state of the economy as well as the actions taken by the Federal Reserve and Congress will determine when the next stimulus check is released. As new information becomes available, we will make sure to keep you informed. The next stimulus package will most certainly include fixed income beneficiaries like Social Security, SSIS DIV, and AAANRRB recipients, although eligibility requirements have not been finalized. We do not yet know how much money will be available in the next stimulus check. We can anticipate a similar amount, though, given that prior stimulus checks varied from $12 to $2,000, so it all depends on the state of the economy and policy decisions made by the government. Keeping you informed with the latest and most accurate information is our top priority because we know how difficult this time is for many individuals. We are committed to ensuring your financial stability and are available to assist you throughout these challenging times. As we keep an eye on the economy in the next round of stimulus payments, it's in your best interest to educate yourself and make use of the tools at your disposal. Stay connected with us for the latest information, keep tabs on your social security income and research alternative health programs. Unfortunately, that concludes today's video. Looking forward to seeing you all in the upcoming video. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future uploads.